Okay, so in this video I want to show you the current state of the EGG feature for Voce Vista Video Pro. Um, I'm going to start. I'm going to start by opening a test file that contains audio data and EGG data. And the first thing I want to do is go to the recording settings and look at the channel display. So by default, when you open a file that you have never opened before, it shows the mixed theory content. That means the EGG channel and the audio channel will be mixed together. And um, if we do actually have EGG data, then we want to see it separately. So I'm going to say here EGG left and audio right, because that's how this file was recorded. And then the next thing is to go to the view menu and turn on the short term audio and EGG view. So now if I click with the mouse anywhere, I can see um, my EGG at the bottom and the audio data at the top. Now I'm going to turn off the spectrum here to make it slightly easier to see. Now I can use the mouse wheel or if I have a touch pad I can use a two finger scroll gesture here to increase the time zoom of the EGG data. And as you can see the EGG is normalized in time so that it always shows the same number of periods. So here I've said it that it shows approximately three periods and you can see that the pitch of the singing here changes but the EGG always shows the same number of periods. That's uh, using an algorithm developed by Christian Herbst which will later be used to display the wavegram that he has developed. So I'm going to play this file. <coughs> Now in the EGG window we see a green line and a white line. The green line is the actual EGG waveform normalized so that it always fits here and the no the white line is the EGG and the green line is the derivative of the EGG. And what we're interested in is the maximum and the minimum of this within one period. And you can see there's a very faint um, magenta line here to show the maximum and then there's this thin blue line to show the minimum. And this distance is what we use to calculate the contact quotient. So you can see here these two gray lines, they mark one period and then the distance between these two lines marks the time between the maximum and the minimum and then we use that to calculate the closed quotient. So as you can see here in this file, it doesn't change that much, but um, you can see how it's calculated. Um, so that's pretty much it, what we have for now. Getting this to work is actually quite a lot of number crunching behind the scenes, but it looks very simple. And this normalized EGG will later be used to display the wavegram, which will be shown up here.